Hello everyone and welcome back to Rice Fix. And in our last video we had applied primer on this wheel rim. So in this video I will be applying the paint. So it is going to be a very interesting video guys. So see that you like the video now only. And if you are coming on this channel for the first time then see that you subscribe. So without wasting any further ado let's get the video started. So here my primer is now totally dry. And once the primer is totally dry. Now I have given one day for this primer to dry. So once the primer is dry completely. What you will have to do next is take a 400 grit sandpaper and start doing the sanding again. So see that you sand the primer properly and see that you don't miss any of the spots otherwise the paint which you will be applying on top of this will not get a good bonding with the surface and because of which it can even start to peel off so take a 400 grit sandpaper and start to do the sanding properly so here i will be applying the paint on both the sides of the rim so now i will turn the rim like this and i will do the sanding on the inner side as well now while sanding keep in mind that you should not sand it too much don't overdo it and expose the metal you must sand lightly and let the sandpaper do the work and flatten the primer now while i was sending one friend of mine came to meet me so i will go to meet him now and as you guys can see this is my neighbor's dog who comes to meet me often so come on let's continue with the sanding process now when you are doing paint jobs then sanding plays a very important part in the process now some people don't like to do sanding and they apply the paint without sanding what happens when you do that is after few days your paint will start to peel off so see that you don't skip the sanding process this is a very important step so here i am done with my sanding process so now i will use pressured air and blow out all the dust which has been created through sanding now as you guys must have noticed that the masking which i had done for my tire is still there sometimes what happens is after applying the primer if you wait for too many days before applying the paint then the primer which is settled on the plastic will lose its grip and when you are spraying the paint the spray gun throws out high pressured air because of which the primer which is settled on the plastic will start to come out in flakes form and will settle on your paint job so if many days have passed after you have applied the primer see that you take the masking out and redo the masking otherwise it can mess up your entire paint job so once you are done blowing out all the dust now it's time to take a degreaser or a wax and grease remover and by taking this now i will wipe the entire rim what this will do is it will take out all the wax grease and grime on the surface and it will leave my surface nice and clean so once you are done wiping it down with the wax and grease remover allow it to dry for around 10 minutes and in that time you can now start to mix the paint so on top of this i will be applying kirara paint which is a single stage paint and to to paint one rim you will need around 100 ml of single stage paint actually even 80 or 90 ml is enough but i am painting something else also on the side so i will make it a round figure and i will take 100 ml and in this you will have to add 30 percent pu thinner and 30 percent hardener all these things you will have to buy along with the paint because if you don't mix hardener in this paint the paint will not get hard and if it doesn't get hard it will not give your rim any protection so it is very important to add all these things in your paint so once you are done adding all these things now it's time to mix the mixture so mix it well and the mixture that you have created you can now put it inside the spray gun cup then set your psi then set your spray pattern and now you can start to apply the paint so if you guys are enjoying this restoring process and if you guys want to do paint jobs like this by yourself and in your home garage then i have a channel called rice and spray booth i will put a link of that channel on the i button above or in the description below go on that channel and see that you subscribe to that channel as well and start to learn auto body and painting go, 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 go. A lot, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I'm now I have applied the paint on the back side of the rim first. Now the advantage of painting the rim with the tire on is that you can turn the rim in between your paint job like this and your rim will not touch the surface because the tire is fatter than the rim and the tire will touch the surface. And like this you can continue to paint on the other side of the rim without any tension. So I will be applying two coats of paint here. This is a single stage paint so there is no need to apply clear coat on top. This paint will directly get hard and give protection to my rim. I make some progress, I can see that they compare. So here I'm done applying my first coat 
and after applying the first coat my rim is looking something like this as you guys can see now i will allow it to dry for around 15 minutes and i will apply the second and the last coat of my single stage paint so here my 15 minutes are up so i will turn the rim again now and i will apply the paint on the back side first now the plywood which is there on my rotating table has bended a little bit because of long term usage that is the reason why my rim is touching slightly on the surface of the table so i will put two wooden pieces under the tire like this this wooden pieces i will put only while i'm painting on the back side because when i turn the tire there is nothing on this side that will touch the surface you guys have seen the shape of the rim on this side it is hollow so while turning the rim i will take out both the wooden pieces and i will apply the paint on the front side So here I am done applying the paint on one side. Now I will turn the rim and I will take out both the wooden pieces and I will keep the rim on this side. And now I will start to paint on the main side of the rim. And once I am done applying this coat, I am done with my painting process. So here I'm done applying my final coat so I will allow it to dry for one day and tomorrow I can put this rim back on my car. But before I do that I will replace the tire on this rim. I will do wheel balancing of the rim because you guys know that I have taken out the weights which were balancing this rim and once I'm done with the balancing then I will put this tire back on the car because to do those steps also it is very important. So if you found this video useful then see that you like and share with your friends and family and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then see that you subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon so that you will not miss any of my future videos and if you guys want to learn auto body and painting then see that you subscribe to my Ryzen spray booth channel till then bye and take care but before that let's see the final shots of this rim